Dharma Samstapanataya Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. This is uh, the principles of religion uh, to come to re-establish. Krishna comes to re-establish the principles of religion millennium after millennium. In Kunti, when Krishna was about to leave, she was in all kinds of anxiety and she gave many beautiful prayers to Lord Krishna. One of the prayers or one of the parts of the prayers is very important for cow protection and interestingly very very connected to this verse. Govinda go dvija sura arta hara avatar and she says Govinda Govinda means go cows Vinda means to look for to obtain to get them it's a very powerful name for Krishna on a practical level if you're out herding your cows on the hillside here like Govindan Hill and a cow is missing then you will not stop until you find that cow, obtain that cow and bring that cow back to the Goshala. That's the dynamics of Krishna's name Govinda. Another aspect of understanding the name of Govinda is very applicable to us and particularly our mission in coming here and the other Goshalas. As Govinda das us or dasis we should also try to emulate that spirit by helping get cows, find cows and bring those cows into Krishna's care. Then she says, Go, Dvija, Sura, cows, Brahmanas, demigods. Cows, Brahmanas, demigods. Interconnected. Cows, Brahmanas, demigods, the same association. In other words, a cow is not like a goat or a dog or a monkey or a giraffe. It has a very specific quality that is divine. So all cows, every single cow, those that are in the hands of devotees or those that are in the hands of non-devotees, they're all cows. They're all part of this divine paraphernalia, the divine things of the Lord. So Queen Kunti prays, Govinda, Go, Dvija, Sura, Arta, Hara, Avatar. That he descends, he comes down to relieve Hara, he relieves the distress, all the things the cows want, he comes to give them those things. In other words, the, the, the care of the cows is so important to Krishna that he will leave the spiritual world to the material world to relieve those cows of their distress. So here we are and we want to emulate what that means to protect cows, Goraksha. We will see, we know that all the cows in our country of India, all the cows everywhere in the world, they live a while, but their life is taken from them. So we as devotees of Krishna, we want to, we want to live the life where the cows are protected for their full life and all their gifts, all their gifts are fully manifested. So one of our responsibilities is not only to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not only, not only to count the cows, but to remind the leaders that our cows should be integrated into the life of the devotees. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, we hear in Krishna's pastimes that the cows' udders were so swollen in milk that they could hardly only walk slowly because the udders were swinging with all this milk. So we're reminding people where we can that we want cows with big udders 
of milk for the deities so all their milk all their yogurt all their butter all their ghee comes from cows that are protected we see practically that cows everything about them is so benevolent for society hidden hidden in the milk there is yogurt there is butter there is cheese there is ghee you just agitate it in different ways and it manifests all these incredible products she eats grass which is lying everywhere and she churns it by this mystical process into the most beautiful food milk you can directly worship the Lord by scratching her rubbing her chin feed her some grass give her some water make sure she's happy this is you worshiping the Lord just by doing these things for a cow her cow dung her manure her urine its fertilization for the plants for agriculture it also has medicinal properties the tail just by waving the tail of a cow you can ward off all all troubles of the universe also we experience peace of mind you go to the cows you're with the cows you feel happy inside so everything about the cow is just so benevolent for society so this is just one of the reasons why Krishna descends from the spiritual world to save us is to, to ensure the Dharma of care protection is established okay I'm going to offer one question how people are treated cow as non-veg and its milk is vegetarian well Lord Chaitanya he told the Chankazi that if you kill the cow you'll have to suffer for as long as there are hairs on the body of the cow so the cow in that form you're going you're going the wrong way you drink milk it's food in the mode of goodness it helps to develop your brain for understanding spiritual things you're going up Srila Prabhupada is so creative and ingenious that he says for those who want the cow to eat it they just wait they wait a few years the cow will die then you can eat that and that's not going to hell it may not be good for your mind but you're not going to go to hell if you eat a cow like that thank you for your thoughtful question thank you thank you all very much